Hi everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and we are looking at ticker symbol VRNG. This is, uh, this, we'll be looking at three charts. This first chart is a daily chart. Each candle represents one day of trading. On the, the 29th, on Thursday, a bullish homing pigeon reversal pattern formed. That forms when a, a black candle forms inside of a red candle. That pattern was confirmed on Friday. Uh, this green candle confirmed the pattern. As you can see here, there were multiple red candles in a row that were forming below EMA's 4 and 8 resistance. EMA 4 and 8 are both at 34. EMA 4 is the pink line. EMA 8 is the green line. And so as you can see, candles were forming below those levels. And then there was a close above both of them on Friday. So uh, the first two key resistance levels broke. And then this middle Bollinger Band at at currently at 37 there was a close above that level now that that's the key level um, to, to turn into support the, when when the, the middle Bollinger Band turns into support a new uptrend can begin um, the the next key resistance level to break is this descending red a descending resistance line so bulls want to um, see that line turn into support turn into a green line as you can see here, there was uh, resistance across th that lines up with the the resistance from the beginning of October. So you want to see a break above that level, and then the upper Bollinger Band at 44 will be the the next resistance. <clears throat> if you look down here at volume, there was very good volume on Friday, so there's nice volume. Um, look look for uh, um, increasing volume or a volume spike. Um, if you look down here at MACD. You, you'll see that, that there was a MACD bull, bullish crossover. The green line crossed the red line to the upside. Um, the, the green line's the, the MACD line, the red line's the signal line. As you can see, the histogram bar turned green for the first time in many days. So that, 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 that's signaling, possible start of a new uptrend here. If you look up here at FASTO, FASTO is between 15 and 80 and in the bull zone. RSI is above the uh, is now above 30 oversold level, and uh, bulls want to see RSI between 50 and 70. Okay, if you look here at the next chart, this is a 15 minute chart. This this shows the 50, the 100, and 200 day moving averages. As you can see, the 50 day moving average was resistance. This is a uh, 15 minute chart, so each candle represents 15 minutes of trading, and this is a four day chart. As you can see, candles were unable to break the 50-day moving average until here on Friday at the open. There was an open above that level. And then uh, the, the, it, VRNG was hitting the 100-day moving average resistance level. And that finally turned into support here at, at 1 o'clock. And then when this 32 level broke, there was this nice break above the 200-day moving average currently at 0 0.333 and that is the key level to hold on a pullback um, as you can see the 50-day moving average is set to golden cross the 100-day moving average here so that that that's a very bullish development um, if if you, you can see there's this upward channel forming and it, um, VRNG closed at the top of the channel so um, yeah, the, the key is to hold this ascending support line on a pullback, and that's currently down here at 32. Um, there was good volume um, on uh, on Friday, and you can see there was this nice spike into the close. That was the uh, largest volume bar um, in many days. And then if you look at MACD, MACD is trending up. So there's a nice uh, uptrend on MACD. And uh, both uh, RSI and Fasto closed above, uh, closed in the overbought power zone at the close. And then if you look here at the next chart, this is a 30-minute chart. This shows the, the downtrend. Each candle on this chart represents 30 minutes of trading. And so th this is showing EMAs 4 and 8 and the, and the middle Bollinger Band. And so you can see candles were riding below the middle Bollinger Band on the way down. And then support was found um, at, at this 28, 29 level. Support was found. And then right here at the open, you'll see that there was a move above the middle Bollinger Band at the open. And then candles started riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher. This move above the middle Bollinger Band signaled the start of a possible new uptrend. And then you can see the share price really got going when, when 32 broke. Okay, so once again, this shows the, the, the close above the upper Bollinger Band. 
So that's that that's showing it, it it closed a little frothy there. So the upper Bollinger Band at at 0 0.358 is the first support level on this chart, followed by uh, the EMA4 at 3.52 and then EMA8 at 0 0.338. As long as the middle Bollinger Band at 0 0.312 level holds, you know, the uptrend should continue. If you see candles forming below the middle Bollinger Band, that will signal um, a downside risk, possible, you know, start of a new downtrend. So the 30-minute chart. This also shows the the large volume bar. You know, lar see how 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 volume was increasing. You know, people were loading down here for the bounce, and then there was this big move, with the with the the strong move up on Friday, and then the uh, MACD line, it went went parabolic there into the close. You can see it's um, went went pretty much vertical, which that's an unsustainable move on MACD. So uh, VRNG is is uh, you know looking good with the the close above the middle Bollinger Band here on the first chart, but as you can see on the um, the 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 15 and uh, 30 minute chart, you know it, clo it closed a little bit frothy. So uh, look for uh, the middle Bollinger Band support level to another close above that level. The um, to to show that that level is turning into support, and um, if the going forward candles forming above the middle Bollinger Band here back on the daily chart, that will equal upside potential, and then candles forming below the lower lower Bollinger Band will equal downside risk. Okay, so this is VRNG. Thank you for viewing these charts, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Happy Halloween, everybody.